if you were looking for people opposed to Obama's award, you could find them in the village of Armal, Afghanistan. Death to America, they shout. Death to Obama. A crowd of about a hundred gather around the bodies of 12 people, one family from a single home, killed, witnesses say, by special force soldiers during a late night raid. Why are they giving Obama a peace medal? He claims to want to bring security to us, but he only brings death. Death to him. Villagers say the dead were civilians, carpenters, shopkeepers who happened to open their home to guests. The special forces took four people away. Inside the home, evidence of a gun battle and the killing that followed. The Afghan government is now looking into whether the operation was justified. We weren't told about the action beforehand. There was no coordination between us and the special forces, so we formed a commission to investigate. The incident comes a week after the U.S. president announced 30,000 additional troops for the Afghan mission. The extra numbers are meant to better protect the people, a pledge that in Armar village rings hollow. Obama has only brought war to our country. Peace Prize is a killer. Words spoken out of emotion. In Afghanistan's capital, where American aid has resulted in more progress than anywhere in the country, there is naturally a greater belief in Obama and his plan. Certainly his decision to send more troops is not uh, to uh, increase uh, the intensity of fighting but rather is to find a solution to the problem in Afghanistan. And we all welcome uh, Obama's effort. But in the village of Balabaluk, the site of a mistaken American bombing that killed 147 in May, a U.S. president with a new strategy offers little hope. He doesn't deserve the award. He bombed us, and he left us with nothing, not even a home. Obama and his commanders have promised over the next 18 months the country will see considerable improvements. And that by summer of 2011, Afghans themselves will be able to start taking over the job of protecting their country. In Armal, even that prospect is unwelcome. Afghan soldiers reportedly fired on the peaceful protest, killing three. As Obama receives his Nobel Prize, here at least, there's little to celebrate. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Kabul.